Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, we found some rivets. Uh, Tata found some rivets at a hardware store yesterday and finished this up. So he's finished both these sides. So the ceiling is complete in the uh, bathroom. I'm liking it. That light is uh, has been uh, stabilized and put in. Um, the molding, uh, a little sandpaper, and I'm thinking it'll it'll turn out okay. Uh, Tata is a man of many talents, but uh, I think crown molding is not one of them. Uh, I'll save it. I'll make it. I'll make it right. A little bit of paint, and uh, it'll look as good as new. Uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> texture this ceiling. Uh, I'm going to have to find some tape somewhere and tape it or not. Um, probably needs taping but if I can't find any, find any I'm not going to worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll putty the cracks full with some kind of a <clears throat> cement compound and then I'll texture it myself. Uh, I know how to texture by hand and can hide all those rivets. It's pretty easy to do. It's not that big of a deal. So that'll be the next week or two project. Uh, I've got other things that are requiring our attention right at the moment. So, And this is not a high priority. Cosmetics for Maricel and I are just not a big deal. Uh, as long as it functions, uh, it's a ceiling. It is what it is, so it's good enough for now. We'll take a little breather. So the bathroom is done and it looks good. Uh, this bedroom is complete and it looks good enough. So these two ceilings are done. So next will be the ceiling in the living room and the kitchen. And I don't know, I'm thinking uh, we're not going to do it in rivets. Uh, there's our friendly neighborhood gecko right there, one of them. He's uh, feasting on bugs. I wonder if the others are up there in their favorite little spot. They're not. They usually hide up there in those rafters, but they're not up there at the moment. They're hunting, I would imagine. Anyway, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with the Hardiflex, uh, Hardiflex, Hardiflex, whatever you call it. I'm okay with that. I'm just not cool with the rivets. Uh, it's really labor intensive. I'm thinking uh, self-tapping screws. Uh, a little, a little uh, pre-work done. What is the word? Oh my god. It's tough getting old, I'll tell you. Countersink. Uh, countersink the holes a bit and uh, use some self-tapping screws. Try to get some try to get some flathead self-tapping screws that can be easily hidden. Uh, and if I can't, I'll, I'll countersink. I'll pre-drill the holes in the heart of flex, countersink them a bit and still use rivets. Uh, but I guarantee we're not going to use nearly the amount that Tata was using. Uh, a rivet every six inches is overkill. Uh, my father and I hung tons of sheetrock, which is a lot heavier than this. Uh, a lot heavier. Uh, two times as heavy. And we would space our nails at least twice that far apart and our nails uh, are just going into paper on sheetrock uh, gyp rock I think they uh, a lot of the rest of the world calls it <coughs> and one nail in 50 or so you'd break the paper so it was holding nothing so even spacing the nails twice as far apart as that and holding up something twice as heavy uh, and the the head on the sheetrock nail 
it's cupped a bit so it's it's made to go up in there and, and hold it well but the the nail the the head of the nail the surface that holds it is about half the size of one of those rivets in area I would imagine so uh, I guess the bottom line would be is that Tata has got those held up four times as well as any sheetrock that me and my dad ever put up and uh, there's sheetrock that me and my dad hung that's still up 40 years later so we're definitely not gonna because it's so hard to find the rivets if we use rivets we're we're not gonna use them like we have a 50 pound box of them laying around I guarantee you that like Tata did um, we're either gonna use uh, I'll countersink the holes we're either gonna use uh, self-tapping screws or rivets either one but whichever one we use we're gonna use a lot fewer of them than what Tatai did here. Uh, I think he put in this ceiling in this bedroom and in the ceiling in the bathroom uh, 300 rivets. And this bathroom is like 6 feet by 10 and this room here is I think 10 by 10. What is it love? It's not. What is it? I think it's ten, I think it's ten by ten. No. Yes, yes, I do. No. I mean, it's ten by ten. Trust me. She just likes to argue. This is the most argumentative woman on the planet right here. I don't care what you guys say. Your your Filipinas the same way. They can't hold a candle to the lovely Marcel when it comes to arguing about absolutely nothing that she has no chance of being right on. But she'll still argue anyway. Isn't that right, love? It's not ten by ten. Well, nine by ten. Then how's that? Maybe. Maybe. Because our room is eleven by twelve, I think. Uh, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then look at this one. Yeah, look at this one. Look at you. Look at you. Oh no. So anyway, that'll be a project in the in the near future. I'm thinking about a month. Well, tiles first. Tiles. Tiles first. No, we're doing the ceiling in here first. No. No, 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 no. I want, I want more of a bug-proof house. I could, I could care less about tiles in the CR. No, I'll arm wrestle you for it. No, don't care. Ceiling. I'm tired of uh, fighting the mosquitoes in the evening, especially with all this dinghy that is broken out in the Philippines. I'm over it. I want this ceiling sealed up, so that's what we're going to do. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.